Hey guys, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and today's class we're going to do a total body workout. I'm going to include some core work and some handstands, all kinds of fun things. Thank you for joining today. Let's bring our hands together in front of the heart. Take a moment now to set your intention for your practice. An intention can be anything you want it to be, something for you to focus on. And we'll keep that intention with us. As you inhale, sweep your arms out, around, and up. And then face your palms toward the back of your mat a little. Make sure the ribs don't puff out. And then hook your thumbs and just pull apart. Pull the arms apart. Drop the shoulder blades down toward the waist. By the way, if you feel uncomfortable sitting, sit on the edge of a blanket to lengthen your spine. We're just going to do some shoulder rolls. So rolling the shoulders back a couple of times, just creating a little bit of movement there. We're going to warm up the shoulders a lot. Inhale, sweep the arms up again. Face the palms gently toward the back. We're spinning the triceps forward. Then hook the other thumb in front and pull. So as you pull, you're engaging the muscles on the side of your torso called the, in the back, called the serratus anterior muscles up by the shoulders and the side waist. And we'll release that and make your way onto your hands and your knees with the wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And then we're going to turn, or I'm sorry, reach the right arm out to the right. As you exhale, come onto the right shoulder. Pull your left hip back a little bit. You need to use your left fingertips to kind of twist there. And then option to extend the left leg back, take the left hand to the low back and roll the left shoulder open. As you inhale, see if you can stretch out at all. As you exhale, roll the top shoulder open, continuing to pull the left hip back. And we'll release back to center. And we'll go back to table, wrists under shoulders, left arm out, inhale. Exhale, take the left shoulder down, pull your right hip back, so hips stay level, pop up onto the right fingertips and start to twist from the waist up. And then extending the right leg back, take the right hand behind your back. You can rest at the low back or hook it onto the left thigh. And again, as you're inhaling, let me see if you can create any length. And as you're exhaling, maybe you can roll the top shoulder back, twist the torso through the rib cages where the twist is. And back to center. And then we'll walk the hands in front of the shoulders. Turn your inner elbows toward the front of the mat. Make sure that you are not sinking into your joints like I just did. So as you turn the inner elbows forward, tuck the toes and make your way into down dog with the knees bent. And then start to straighten the right leg, keeping left knee bent and reverse. We'll just bicycle the legs. So try and keep that same action as if you were turning your inner, inner elbows toward the front of the mat. They're not going to turn that way, but just as if you're trying to have them do that. Bend both knees, stretch the spine, and then reach the heels toward the floor. Steady breathing. Keep the gaze between the knees, arms and ears in line. And try and keep the inhales and the exhales equal in length. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Bring the chest forward, try to press right up in between your shoulder blades. Lengthen the tailbone toward the heels. Keep the belly drawing in and up and lift the backs of your knees. So we're using the leg muscles a lot here as well. Shift forward as you exhale, slow, slow, slow. Come all the way down to your belly. Bring the hands by the low ribs, untuck the toes, press all the toenails down. Pull in the belly, inhale, cobra. Keep reaching tailbone toward heels and draw the shoulder blades toward the waist. Pulling the hands back toward the feet. And then we'll release, tucking the toes under. So knees can stay up or down. We're gonna press up to plank and then lift up and back into downward facing dog. All the way back. And breathing here, try and keep the inhales and exhales equal. Now looking forward, just gonna walk the hands and feet toward each other. In a nice forward fold for a moment. And then inhale halfway up 
Exhale, bring your hands to hips. Inhale all the way up to center. Grab a block if you have it. Otherwise, you can roll up a towel or blanket and put it between your inner thighs and give it a, a gentle squeeze. You don't have to squeeze real hard, but you want to keep it in place. And right here, we're going to just find Tadasana for a moment. So outer edges of feet parallel. And then inhale, sweep the arms up, making sure the ribs aren't popping out. So don't want to stick the buns out or the ribs. Reach up tall and spin the triceps forward. Keep the legs engaged. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold to Uttanasana, bending the knees as needed. Inhale, look up, come halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, walk yourself all the way out to plank pose. So bring yourself so your shoulders and hips are in line. Still holding that block. Shift forward, chaturanga. Knees can be down here. Inhale, upward dog or cobra is your choice. And then exhale, lift the hips into downward dog. Still holding that block. So we just want to make sure that we are working our legs, keeping them nice and active and engaged. Gaze between the knees or feet, arms and ears in line. Spread the fingers wide. Press into the base of your fingers as the forearms lift. Then we'll walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Take an inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to fold in. Press with the feet, rise up, inhale. Spin the triceps forward. And uh, now flex your wrists as if you were trying to touch your hands to the ceiling. And then release it. Inhale again, sweep the arms up, keep those ribs in, make sure the low back doesn't arch. Exhale, fold in, let your head be heavy. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. As you exhale, you're going to walk yourself again to plank pose, top of a push-up. Just keep walking till shoulders are over wrist, then lower halfway, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to modify your vinyasas. You can always take the knees down for chaturanga. Stick with cobra if that's better for your back. Keep stretching the weight up to the hips and then reaching it down toward the heels. Notice when you hold the block, the inner thighs have to spin back. That's what we like. So we're going to release that block. Inhale, lift the right leg back and up from the inner thigh. And then bend the knee and open up through that hip. Keep pressing back equally through the arms, reaching left heel toward the floor. Now, square off the hips on your inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot up, take the left knee to the floor, pat up the left knee. You can always fold your mat over if you don't have a blanket handy. Keep the back toes tucking under as you come up. It's so gonna pull the right hip back, drop the tailbone down, and sink forward as you continue to lift the hip points up. Reach up through arrow straight arms, again, spinning the outer upper arms triceps forward, almost as if you're, you're turning your palms to the back. And then exhale, circle the arms around. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, palms face out as you make your big circle, still warming the shoulders. Inhale, stretch up tall. Keep the ribs in as you exhale, circle around. Bring the hands to the mat. Now we'll straighten the front leg, inhale, and fold over it as you exhale. Keep pulling the right hip back to keep the hips level. And the right toes pull back, stretching out the hamstrings a bit. And then we'll rebend that front knee, step back to plank. And chaturanga, shoulders no lower than elbows, but please keep the knees down if you wish. Inhaling, upward dog. Inner thighs spin up just like we have that block there. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. First hips are level and then exhale, open the hip. Take it over toward the right side, press evenly through the arms. Reach down through the right heel. It's a nice hip stretch. Take the hips to level, look forward. And lightly step the left foot by the left hand. Take the right knee down. If you have pain in the knee, pat it up. You can fold the mat over or put a blanket there. Tuck the back toes under and inhale for low lunge. Come on up. So pull the left hip back, drop down through the tailbone, lift up through the hip points and as you sink forward. Reach up nice and tall, reaching arms so that they're straight. Keep the ribs drawing in, the front ribs drawing in. And then exhale, circle around. Inhale, reach up, front ribs down and in. Exhale, circle around. Inhale, reach the arms, 
Exhale, big circle. Bring the hands to the mat. Tuck the back toes, come to plank. And chaturanga. Inhale. Shoulders over wrists and up dog. Exhale. Tuck the toes down dog. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Pressing into the base of the fingers as your forearms lift away from the mat. Still triceps, upper arms spinning back. Look forward, bend the knees, keep the hips high. Either step or hop the feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold, hips over heels if the legs are straight. Press through the feet, rise up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. Finding our tadasana at the front. Reconnect with your intention. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinging from the hips as you come forward. Keep the spine as long as you can. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale, step or float. If you're floating back, land with bent elbows, shoulders and elbows in line. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, this time knee to nose, shoulders over the wrist. Try and draw that knee and that leg in towards your belly. Looking forward between the hands. And one more breath, keep the belly pulling in and then lightly step the right foot up, spin the back heel flat, inhale warrior two. Make sure your feet are lined up front heel and back arch. Keep the right knee over the ankle and point it straight over the middle toes. Lift the back inner thigh gently. Arms are at a T. Drop the left arm, reverse your warrior, bend into your front knee a little bit, keep the length. Now straighten the front leg, reverse triangle pose. On the inhale, come up, set up for triangle pose, hinging from that front hip, reach out and down, right hand to the shin or a block or the floor and reach through the left arm. Try and lengthen out your torso. Shoulders are in line with each other. Press a lot of weight into the base of the big toe of your right foot. In a moment, we're gonna move into Ardha Chandrasana. So take left hand to left hip. Take your right hand six to 12 inches in front of you on the pinky toe side of the foot and reach up through the left arm if you're steady. Make sure the right toes didn't turn in. They're still parallel with the outside of the mat. Draw in through the belly, reach the left sitting bone to the heel. Stretch it out. And then slowly, we're gonna find a little balance. Bend the knee, reach the right arm forward. And then into warrior two. Whoops, a little wobble, but that's okay. Warrior two, here we are. Exhale, windmill the arms down through chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. And exhale back into down dog. Feel free to skip those vinyasas as you wish. Left leg lifts up. Exhale, knee toward nose. Draw the thigh in toward the belly. Press away from the floor. My upper back's a little bit rounded as I press and I draw the belly in firmly. Look forward, step it up, back heel flat, inhale, warrior two. So again, I'm lined up front heel and back arch, arms at a T. Make sure the knee and ankle line up on the left leg and the back inner thigh lifts. So spin that up toward the ceiling. Lift the chest and drop the right arm reverse. Keep bending into the left knee. Keep reversing, now straighten the left leg. Take a breath. Inhale up, hinge from the front hip crease. Take the left hand down, shin, foot, floor, or block. Reach up through the right arm. The front hip is moving under you. Your torso leans over the front thigh and then press a lot into the base of the big toe of the left foot as your left calf presses toward your left shin. Take another breath here, finding length through the torso, then right hand to hip, bend the left knee. Take the left hand six to 12 inches in front of you. Float the right leg up. Make sure that left hand's on the pinky toe side of the left foot. Reach the right arm up if you're steady. Watch those left toes. They like to turn in. Keep them parallel with the outside of the mat. Now reach the right sitting bone toward the heel. Now bend the left knee, reach the left fingertips forward, find just a little balance, and slowly down into warrior two. And then take an inhale, exhale, and cartwheel the arms down, either go right into downward dog or come to plank, and chaturanga as you exhale, inhaling upward facing dog, exhale back, downward facing dog. 
Remember, you can always push the pause button and take a break whenever you feel like you'd like one. Come back to your steady breath. Inhale, come to plank pose. Step the feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot, lift up through the left arm. Try and bring that top hip, that left hip a little bit forward. Spin the right inner elbow forward gently. Take a breath here, tailbone's reaching to heels. Now take left hand to hip, look back, come to plank. Lower chaturanga or not. Inhale, up dog, and back to down dog on the exhale. Back to plank, inhale, feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot, and right arm up. Bring your right hip gently forward so hips are stacked. Reach up, let the shoulder plates relax, left inner elbow spinning gently toward the front of the mat, tailbone reaching to heels. Pull the front ribs in, pull the belly in. Take another breath, and then right hand to hip, look back to the floor, come to plank, and either holding plank here, Oh yes, hold plank and then let's come to the forearms. So now we're in forearm plank. Then walk the feet in and to dolphin. Make sure your elbows are no wider than your shoulders. Keep them right underneath there. And even here we're trying to spin the outer upper arms, triceps back toward the feet, biceps, inner upper arms spin toward the hands, the front of the mat. It's a good shoulder stretch here as well. Looking forward, step the feet back about a foot. Then roll to the right side again. Side dolphin plank, lift the left arm up. Try and stack the hips. Squeeze the legs as if you still have that block. Come back to dolphin plank and right to the left side. Reach the right arm up, bring the right hip forward. Tailbone to heels and breathe here. Shoulder blades release. Come back to dolphin plank. Walk the feet in, back to regular dolphin. And now press up to down dog. You can also come to the knees first and make your way to down dog. Make sure the arms are still shoulders distance apart. That can get a little wonky when you're coming from dolphin to down dog. Look forward, hips high, step or hop the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward and press through the feet. Rise up on the inhale. And to samastitihi. Back to the front of the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, utkatasana, drop the hips down. Exhale, belly to thighs, then straighten the legs, uttanasana. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, lift the hips for down dog. As you inhale, we'll step the right foot up by the right hand. Back foot is flat, warrior one. Pull the right hip back here. We're trying to square off the hips as best we can, keeping the right knee bent. Drop the tailbone down, making sure the ribs don't puff out. Then interlace fingers behind you or hook thumbs. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Humble warrior. Your front heel's in line with your back heel. Keep pulling the right hip back. Lift the arms any amount. Try not to lock out your elbow joints. Crown of the head is reaching toward the floor. Press through the outer edge of the back foot, the back inner thigh spinning back. Inhale, come up, take your fingertips to the floor. Come onto the ball of the back foot. Lengthen as you inhale. And then fold as you exhale. Feel free to use blocks. If you don't have any, you can rest your hands on your leg. But again, we're trying to keep the hips level. If you've got some space, you can walk your hands back towards your foot, turning the fingertips to face the back foot. Nice, long, steady breaths here. Continuing breathing, always come back to the breath. Then re-bend the front knee and come to plank. Lower chaturanga or go right to down dog. Inhaling up dog, exhaling back, downward facing dog. And we'll do the left side, left foot steps, back foot is flat, heel to heel alignment. Warrior one, pull the left hip back, send your right hip forward. So do the best you can, square up the hips toward the front. And then interlace fingers, other pinky on top or other thumb. Lengthen, inhale, and exhale to humble warrior. Crown of the head's reaching down. Weight in the front foot is in the heel. 
Then press through the outer edge of the back foot, continuing to pull the left hip back. And you can just let your head go any amount. Nice long breaths. And then inhale, hands to the mat. Lift the back heel, lengthen, inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, fold. It's a variation of pyramid pose. Make sure you're pulling your left hip back. If your hands don't reach the floor, put them on blocks or on your left leg. If you've got space, walk your hands back. Fingers facing the back of your mat. Keep pressing weight into the base of the big toe of your left foot. Then re-bend that knee. And back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Exhale, downward dog. And lift the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it through. Take your left knee to the floor, back to low lunge. Get blocks if you have them. We're gonna straighten the front leg again for half Hanumanasana. You can stay there, or this time, you can work on sliding out. So pull the right hip back, send the left hip forward. Again, we're trying to square the hips. If you're not all the way down, I like a block under the front thigh, or you can keep hands on blocks on either side. So wherever you are, get a good stretch. It doesn't matter how deep you get into the pose, just matters that you feel a stretch. Then we know we're getting some work done. At the same time, keep the quadricep muscle engaged. Just another breath or two here. Make sure those back toes are pointed straight back. They have a tendency to turn. And we want them straight. And then bending the front knee, and we'll step back. Plank pose, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up, and exhale, stretch all the way back. On the inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, bring it forward by the left hand, take the right knee to the floor, and inhale, back to low lunge. Now straighten the left leg, lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Keep the left hip drawing back. You can stay with half Hanumanasana or stretch out. Keep the left hip drawing back, the right hip rolling forward. And then if you're not all the way down, you can put a block underneath or you can have a block on either side or hands on either side. It's very hot in the shala today. It's about 93. It's like doing hot yoga in there. <laughs> and draw the right or draw the left hip back. Steady breathing. And let those legs stretch out a bit. And then Couple breaths, just a couple more breaths here. Go as deeply as you're comfortable with, but firm the quadricep on the left leg too. So as you stretch, you wanna firm the opposing muscle. Let's step back into plank. Chaturanga, exhale, inhale, up dog, and exhale to down dog. So we're gonna walk, find a wall near you, and we'll walk the hands back toward the feet, and finding that wall, I'm going to slide my right leg up the wall as high as I can. Then I can press into my hands, and now I'm going to bring my left foot as close to the wall as I can. And just like before, I'm going to try to keep the hips level. I don't always do a great job, but I try. So my right inner thigh is spinning up away from the wall, the inner thigh. Firm the leg muscles. It's a really big stretch, a nice stretch. Nice split on the wall. And then we'll walk the hands away and release it. Now we'll do the other one. Left leg up as high as you can. So I'm on the back of my foot. I'm not tucking my toes under. Then I'm gonna bring my right foot as close to the wall as I can. And then I can use a little bit of arm strength to help press me toward the wall. Continuing your breathing here. Lifting that leg. Stretching out hamstrings, hip flexors. And this will be really helpful for our handstands. So we're going to come back to center. So handstand options. You can sit with your back against the wall, the legs in front of you. Bring a block to measure where your um, ankle bone is. Then put your hands where your feet just were. Take your heels to the wall. It's a short down dog. Now step one foot up as high as you can up the wall, tucking the toes, and then the other. So this can be your handstand if it works for you. 
or walk the feet halfway down into an L shape. This is more work, gotta use those belly muscles. So I'm still gonna spin the triceps toward the back of the mat. And then let's come down, take a little rest. So just like in downward dog, just like on hands and knees, what we've been working on is spinning the triceps back and biceps forward, same thing here. So now we're gonna kick up into a handstand if you wanna join me with that. Otherwise, stay with the other pose. From down dog, step one foot forward. That's gonna be your power leg that you'll use to kick with. Then lift the opposite leg as high up as you can from the inner thighs, so your hips are level. Then shoulders over wrists, look forward, bend that knee and take a hop. Find the wall, press away from the floor with your arms and then try and bring your front ribs in as your tailbone reaches up toward the heels and then come down to rest whenever you want to take a rest. We're going to do it a couple of times. So a little rest and child's pose in between or maybe you're still upside down. Feel free also to push pause and play around with it longer. Arms or shoulders distance. I'm going to take a little down dog here, spin the triceps back, again outer upper arms back, biceps forward. Step one foot in, lift the other leg as high as you can from the inner thigh, but don't let that hip open like that. You don't want to do that. Then you'll bend the right knee, keep the gaze forward for your hop. And didn't quite make that one. This one was just a little, little tricky for me. So drawing the front ribs in, tailbones reaching up to heels, gazing forward whenever you're ready to come down, take a rest. So now I'm gonna take one leg to the wall for measurement. So I'm gonna try and do this little midair split thing with the legs. So you might wanna watch first, but or you can just try it. So I'm gonna step my right foot forward, lift the left leg up just like before. I'm going to take my hop, but this time I'm keeping my legs apart. Now I'm going to press away from the floor. I'm going to try to bring my legs up to center and then switch which leg goes to the wall and which leg goes the other way. And then when I'm ready, I'll just come down and child's pose. And this one I'm going to stay. So that was my last handstand for today, but if you want to practice some more, please push the pause button and practice. Otherwise, resting in child's pose. I'm gonna turn away from the wall. Wipe off a little bit of sweat. Come back to down dog. Now you feel free to stay in this down dog. Or inhale plank. Exhale chaturanga elbows in. Inhale, thighs and knees off the floor and up dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Now, we'll come forward to seated. So bend the knees, step or hop to sit. Lie back for a couple of back bends or Dvadhanurasana and or bridge pose. Feet are hips width, heels under knees. Inhale, lift into bridge. Roll your shoulders under. Maybe interlacing the fingers. Reach the tailbone toward the backs of the knees and spiral the thighs in toward each other. Chins moving away from the chest, but keep lifting the chest up toward the chin. And then slowly lower down and rest. So let your knees drop in toward each other. Another bridge or wheel pose. Arms up by the ears, elbows point straight up. Come onto the crown of the head, line up your wrists under the elbows, keep the elbows parallel, exhale, press up. And the same thing, inner thighs are spinning toward each other, chest is pressing toward the back of the mat, tailbones reaching toward the backs of your knees. When you're ready to come down, chin to chest first and then lower down. And let your knees knock in toward each other and rest a moment. So we'll do one more bridge, wheel, or grab a block if you have it. Put it on the base of your spine for supported bridge. That always feels great. So setting up, last one. Arms by ears if you're going up, crown of the head, line up your wrists and elbows, elbows parallel, exhale, press up. Make sure the outer edges of your feet also stay parallel. Imagine someone's pulling you in two different directions, from the upper back in one direction and from the lower back in the other, just pulling. Then to come down, chin to chest, this time hug your knees in. 
Gently rock side to side. Give your low back a little massage. Then we're going to rock back and forth. So hold on behind the knees and rock. Take two or three rocks and then come up to seated. Dandasana. Extend the legs. Pull the toes back. If you're feeling rounded at all in the back, it's hard to sit up tall. Then sit on the edge of a blanket. Bend your right knee. Bring the right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, take it across and twist. As you inhale, create length through your spine. Exhale, roll the right shoulder back. We're twisting from above the waist. So you can stay right with this or you can wrap it. So the left hand comes behind the back. The right arm reaches behind to hold it. Right shoulder's rolling back. I figured since we took so much time warming the shoulders, might as well go for it. Then head to center release. Of course, you never have to. Left knee bends, left hand behind. Inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, take it across to twist. So kind of inhale, creating that length. Draw in through the belly. As you exhale, you could stay here or you might want to reach that right arm forward a little bit. So you try to get your armpit as close to your leg as you can. Wrap the leg, take the left hand behind. Roll the left shoulder back, widening across the collarbones. Long, long breaths. Inhale, head to center, and exhale to unwind. Both arms up, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, chest forward, and exhale to extend Paschimottanasana, forward folding. Steady breath. Keep the belly drawing in a little bit. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Inhale, head up and exhale, release. We're going to make our way to our final resting pose, Shavasana. I have a blanket. I'm rolling it up. I put it under my knees because it feels nice. If I had another blanket, I'd roll it just a little bit under my neck. But whatever you've got, first... Come on to your back, happy baby. Take the pinky toe sides of the feet, gently rock side to side, little hip opening. Now, option to extend the right leg out to the right, straightening the right knee. And then back to happy baby. Option to extend the left leg out to the left, straightening that knee. And of course, option to straighten both, stretching out those legs. Nice hip opening, and then back to center, and we'll make our way to Shavasana. Take a few moments to get comfortable, tailbones reaching toward heels, let your feet flop open, bring your arms away from your body a little bit with your palms facing up. Once you feel like you are in a very comfortable, supported position, that is when you get to completely relax. So quiet mind and quiet body in Shavasana, and I will be back in a minute or so. As you're resting a little bit longer here, I have a quote from Fred Rogers, otherwise known as Mr. Rogers. In times of stress, the best thing we can do for each other is to listen with our ears and our hearts and to be assured that our questions are just as important as our answers. 
Mr. Rogers definitely ahead of his time. Now begin to take some longer breaths. And then start to make little movements in your fingers and in your toes. Start moving your hands and your feet. And then begin to reach your arms overhead. A nice long stretch. And Bend your knees, bringing your feet onto the floor or a blanket if that's what you have and roll yourself off to your right side and just pause there for a moment. Reconnecting once again with the intention that you set. And then press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And we'll bring the hands together and take the hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Take the hands to the heart center to remind us to have clear and loving intentions. And then bring the hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communications. Let's send out some positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining this morning or evening or afternoon, whatever it is for you. And don't forget to subscribe to Fight Master Yoga. Be part of our community. Leave us a comment. Share our classes on Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter, whatever you like. And go to fightmasteryoga.com. Join our mailing list. I've got a new little part of the website called stuff I like and so I put some a lot of people ask me what mat I like and props and things so I, I listed them all you can check that out if you wish if you are in a position to send us a donation of any amount helping us to continue providing free yoga there's a link below or on the fightmasteryoga.com website there is a little button and I want to thank everybody for joining us today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.